Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. I've been gone for some time just because the meta has been so terrible recently with the whole death dual schooling storm situation, but I'm glad to be back since they fixed that issue. But it looks like I'm going to be fighting Laura Mythblade, who is a knight, and it doesn't look like she's dual schooling, but regardless, it looks like I'm going second, so I'll start by getting rid of these shields as soon as possible because I don't need them against myths. So she goes for the stun block right off the bat, which is always a good move if you can get it off in the early rounds, so more power to her. By this point, everyone knows that I use a lot of winter moons, so much so they're going to start calling me the moon goon behind my back. But thankfully, I also pulled a stun shield, which I was going to use this turn, but uh, I actually think I'll go for the steel pip first, just to start off with a little early game tilting. People always underestimate how utilizing mental warfare can alter the way people play, especially at the beginning of the match, because it sets the tone for the rest of the game. Oh god, this is what I was afraid of. It's too early for this. To be honest with you guys, I pretty much wing my matches against myths because they are very hard to counter. You can't really weakness or shield safely, which means I can't set up for Colossus or Frost Beetle Gambits, which are some of my best spells, so our options are limited. And then they have trap stack spells like this, which if you don't get off ASAP, uh, they'll just get way too much value out of them. So I really have to start looking for tranquility. That's really the only way. But for now, I'll just make sure I at least get those stun shields on me. All right, so it's not looking great for me so far, and it's tough for me to delete some of these cards because I'm sure I'll need them later, but I need to pull that Tranquility or I'm cooked. So I need to stall for time and maybe threaten some damage so she'll shield and I can have more time to pull my trap counter. So Wyvern is perfect. Uh, so I can threaten damage on her while mitigating some potential damage on me by getting that blade off because a double buffed hit from a myth would be a day ruiner. Oh, neat. Well, I have bigger problems to deal with right now than her minus 80 set shield. Uh, really, my only option here is to start the bubble war and hope she fights it uh, to stall more time for me to pull tranquility. But if I don't pull any more bubbles by next turn and she changes the bubble, I think I just accept my untimely demise. Hmm, well, no bubble. Uh, so this is about the time in the match that I get on all fours and pray to any deity out there that's willing to listen. I have my ritual candles and incense on standby for this very moment to strengthen my prayers. Uh-huh. Hmm. I love that myth just does a casual 1.4k damage after a single buff. Super cool. Well, I hate to be that guy, but I think I'm going to need to heal with Pigsy um, next turn, which I hate doing because I like offensive ice gameplay, but I'll set up for a hit if she decides not to shield. Oh, yes, a weakness. Okay, I can get rid of this angry snow pigs. Uh, perfect time for her to weakness because pigs is double buffed right now. So I'll hit first with this and maybe try to pigsy next turn. Uh, I really wish I could delete uh, some cards to continue looking for tranquility, but I genuinely think I'm gonna need everything that's in my hand to counter what she might be doing next. Hmm, that fail pip is not exactly conducive to positive mental health for me right now. Uh, and it seems that the whiz gods are leaving me on red. 
Okay, I'm glad she's at least using a hit and bubble to waste one of her traps, but I really don't have the pips to fight the bubble war right now, and I still haven't seen just a normal bubble all game. But she doesn't have the pips to hit with anything yet, so I'm just gonna get the heal off while I can before she infections, and hopefully I can pull a two pip bubble next turn. Okay, bubble secured, so I think I'm okay for right now. And now I'm not okay. And that's how fast things change in Wiz PvP. So a spirit shield would be pretty spectacular right now, but it's not looking like it's gonna happen. Uh, I don't wanna dig too hard for it either right now. It's possible I hoard my cards a little too much, but I'm just gonna change the bubble to set up for the comeback. If she does decide to hit right now, uh, she'll be completely out of pips. And there it is. I just heard the afterlife call from my soul the second that blade went up. I can only hope I'll be revived as a death wizard after my passing. Please, 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 can I pull an elemental shield? Oh my god, time is running out. Okay, it's weakness or nothing. Kings out, you better make her deck fail the Stone Colossus or we will be having words. I've spent way too many crowns to lose like this. Oh god. Please no. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, I'm ice. I'm ice. I can tank it. I can tank anything, right? Lydia, give me strength. In Lydia, we trust. <laughs> Well, I'm basically hanging on to dear life by my pinky toe, but I can finally put this meditation to good use at least. <sighs> nice to finally see that tranquility pull up about 30 rounds too late, but it could still be useful if she does any more trap stacking. And her pips are working in my favor right now, so there's a chance I can make this work. I can't let her get too comfortable behind shields right now, though, so uh, I want to continue to threaten damage, but really what I need to do right now is get a heal. Gosh, so many bubbles, yet so little heals. Again, I gotta make sure to keep her an open shot by taking those shields down. Okay, I did pull the pigsy, which is great. Looks like she towers. I don't have any shield breakers in my hand at the moment. So I think my best move is to just get the heal off while I can. Well, uh, uh, I'm speechless. You know what? I'm just gonna let my lawyers do the talking for me when I sue King's Isle for negligent infliction of emotional distress. I'm gonna make them pay for my therapy. To make matters worse, looks like she's bringing back the bubble war again after I just deleted a bubble. And look at that repugnant pigsy. 
gleefully staring into my eyes as if it didn't just potentially cost me the game. Okay, no wait, this is winnable. This is a perfect example of why you always carry a Life Rochambeau spells in Grand PvP. They are an absolute must against fires and myths. And her pips suck right now, so I can get off this Tranquility and hopefully transition into a Pigsy next turn. Or can I? Only time will tell. But if I fizzle the Pigsy again, then I'm purely running Celestial Intervention from now on. Oh, never mind. Hold off on the Pigsy. It is prime Wyvern time. And I have the Moon in hand to combo. Finally, the stars align. So she'll probably shield this turn, which I can wand off, and then I can uh, follow up with Moon the next turn, as long as I don't pip fail. Yeah, so since she shielded, I'm just gonna take that off with a wand. So she shields again, but since it's only a tower, I might be able to just blade and force her to either double shield, in which case I'll hopefully be able to frostbite and combo into a four pit for the win, or I might just be able to just straight up hit through it if she doesn't shield. But either way, I'm going to train another life pip too, just in case I decide to pixie. Okay, so she went for the ninja pigs. Uh, Athena probably would have been a better move, uh, so she would have had the double shield. But either way, I gotta, I gotta do some math here, because she can kill me next turn. Uh, first off, Pigsy is out of the question now that it's broken my trust. Uh, but I'm not really familiar with the new damage output for my hits because the stat caps have changed since I uh, last PvP'd. So maybe triple buffed moon kills through a tower, but I want to use Tamauji instead to be safer because it does a little bit more damage. Okay, actually, there's no way this doesn't kill through a tower, right? Triple buffed? A moment of truth. Oh man, it barely killed, but barely gets the job done. But anyways, thanks for watching, and let me know what you guys thought of the match in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.